Hey everyone, with me this week is a 2020 Toyota RAV4 TRD Off-Road. TRD Off-Road trim is new to the RAV4 lineup for 2020. It essentially just builds off of the adventure model. It does have a few key upgrades though. It gets all-terrain tires, unique 18-inch wheels, and a more off-road oriented suspension tuning. Other than that, it uh, comes with TRD off-road badges and it swaps out the adventure model's orange interior accents for red. Either way though, I'll give you a quick tour of the RAV4 TRD off-road's exterior, then we'll look at the interior and then I will share with you some of my thoughts. If you've seen a RAV4 Adventure, then this thing is going to look pretty familiar to you. It shares all of its bodywork with that vehicle. That means it comes with the black plastic grille with a more aggressive front end. It has these black plastic fender flares that run all the way down the rocker panels, on the rear fenders, round back. It has more functional roof rails, which is a nice functional addition to the RAV4's Adventure trim. You can see this one has crossbars on it, so it's easy to just throw a rooftop cargo box or ski holders, kayaks, whatever else you can dream up. I do like the two-tone exterior. This is metallic gray, and then this is like a very silvery white. That looks good, I like it a lot. As for the TRD off-road models functional upgrades, they, they all are really just confined to this area right here. Uh, wheels, tires, and suspension. So you can see this thing has Matte black wheels, they're 18 inches. The RAV4 Adventure gets 19 inch wheels that maybe look a little fancier, but in reality, these wheels are gonna be a lot more functional and they look the part too. Wrapped in Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. Again, mild all-terrain tire, nothing too aggressive. It's gonna allow the vehicle to preserve its EPA fuel economy figure, but sidewall, gives the vehicle a more aggressive look. I do like it a lot. And then, suspension is said to have been retuned for better off-road performance. And you can see it has red springs. So obviously, this thing's gonna be good off-road if it's got red springs. Apparently the insides of the shocks were redesigned. Nothing too exciting to look at with regard to the shock absorbers themselves. Something else I heard is that this vehicle uses unique bump stops. We'll move on to the back. Not really much to see in there. Again, there's your shock. It's got a TRD sticker on it, so there you go. And then red coil spring down there. Either way, this is still a unibody crossover. It's got a fully independent suspension, uh, so it's not going to be a rock crawler, but it will go down a dirt road and get pretty good fuel economy doing so. Black badges on the tailgate. There's your TRD off-road badge. Take a look in the back here before we hop in the driver's seat. Power tailgate takes a little bit longer to open than I'd like, but it's okay. So with the TRD off-road model, you get TRD off-road rubber floor mats. One cool feature is that they cover the rear seat backs. So if you need to put the seats down to throw some dirty items, uh, gear, whatever, skis, snowboard, uh, the seat backs are covered. So you're, whether you put stuff back here or all the way on the rear seat back, you've got a rubber floor mat to cover the carpeting. Another cool feature is this 120 volt, 100 watt power outlet back here. And there's also traditional 12 volt outlet as well. This one doesn't have a cargo cover, but you can see that there are provisions for a cargo cover in the cargo area here. Close the tailgate. Climbing in the driver's seat. We'll go ahead and start it up. Interior quality is good. It's everything you'd expect from Toyota. This is a soft touch door panel here. This is black plastic, but again, it's Toyota black plastic, so it's really high quality. You got some silver trim pieces on the door panel here. Switch gear is all good. Uh, yeah, what can you say? It's a Toyota product. It's gonna last for 200,000 miles easily. I really love this new dashboard design. One of my favorite features is this storage shelf right here. You can put a phone, sunglasses, wallet, whatever in there. This is usually just wasted space, so it's nice to see that Toyota has uh, made a storage solution out of it. That shelf is also present on the passenger side here, so all the way over here. Yeah, it's just, it's nice. It's a smart feature. Uh, if you're on a road trip, you can throw your wallet, sunglasses, phone, everything up there, keep it out of the way. It's a really good use of space. Eight inch infotainment screen in this model. There's also a screen in the gauge cluster here. 
TRD Off-Road comes with Toyota's multi-terrain select feature. So does the Adventure model. You get mud and sand and rock and dirt settings for the traction control system. There's also a snow mode and a hill descent control. One thing you'll notice if you've seen a RAV4 Adventure interior, uh, that vehicle comes with orange trim, whereas this one uses red trim. Get some red stitching on the dash. It says TRD in the headrest there, red stitching on the seats. Uh, this is a faux leather material. Apparently it's lighter than leather. Either way, I like to see simulated leather. I don't think there's really much need to use real leather in a vehicle anymore. I've got the window sticker laid out on the seat here. We'll take a look at it. So this is a 2020 RAV4 TRD off-road. Exterior color is called Magnetic Gray Metallic, but it does also have that white roof that looks really cool. It's built in Ontario, Canada. This one is about the most expensive RAV4 you can get. It comes in at just under $43,000 when you factor in that destination fee there. But at the same time, it is fully loaded, so you've got blind spot monitoring, all the active safety features you could want, 8 inch infotainment screen, power rear tailgate. Press pause if you want to take a closer look. Powertrain's pretty good in this thing. 2.5 liter four cylinder, naturally aspirated, makes 203 horsepower and 184 pounds feet of torque. That's paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission. That's a traditionally geared automatic. Nice to see that Toyota's holding on to uh, that regular automatic transmission in this era where seemingly everybody is going to a continuously variable unit. Fuel economy is good too. 25 MPG city, 32 highway, 27 combined. Not quite as good as the RAV4 hybrid. That returns, I think, 38 combined, but still pretty impressive, especially when you consider this vehicle's off-road capability. Other things worth mentioning, Toyota was late to the party, but the 2020 RAV4 does come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capability. Big thumbs up there. Toyota's own infotainment system has grown on me a little bit. It's better than it was, but it's still got some shortcomings, so it's nice to be able to just turn on Android Auto and then not have to interact with this native system very much. Digital rear view mirror is a cool feature. Right now, it's in regular mirror mode. You can tell because you can see me and you can see the headrests and the rest of the car interior. But flip this switch and you get a digital rear view mirror. So it uses the rear view camera on the back hatch there and it gives you a live feed of what's behind you. Up top here, lights, you get Toyota's little kind of unique SOS button here with this cover so that you don't accidentally press it. But if you needed to use SOS, flip this cover down, then press the button. Loads of active safety features in this thing. It's all this stuff up here. Uh, you get automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist and lane centering, which will actually keep you in the middle of the lane rather than just keep you from moving out of your lane. Uh, radar cruise control, automatic high beams. This one has blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic detection. Another cool feature is traffic sign detection as well. Yeah, lots of good stuff. Wireless charging pad right there. Pretty much everything you could want in a vehicle is in this RAV4. I think that about covers the front passenger area. Let's hop in the back seat and I'll give you a look at how much space is back there. Okay, and I've got the seat in the position it would be if I were driving, I'm about 5'11". You can see there's a decent amount of space there, about five inches, room to move my knees around. You got a small hump in the center here. It gets in the way a little bit. Another rubber floor mat back here. Same materials used on the back door panels, which is nice. So soft touch, soft touch, decent quality hard plastic. Yeah, the back doors are pretty much the same as the front doors. Overhead light, fold down armrest with cup holders. You get rear AC vents and two USB ports back here. Altogether, there are five USB ports in this thing. You can see one right up there. That's for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. There are two more in the center console storage box, and then two more in the back here for a total of five. Just one seat back pocket, nothing on the driver's seat, but there's one here. Perforated leather in the back. You get the same triangle pattern back here as you do in the front. More red stitching on the seats, grab handles, hooks. Not much else to see back here. So let's hop back up front and we'll wrap things up. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time this week to take this vehicle on a proper off-road adventure like I would have liked, but I did find this building site here with pretty uneven dirt roads, so I'm going to drive it along here at a somewhat spirited pace to see if I can get a feel for the suspension. With this vehicle, it's not necessarily going to be as fun to drive as something like uh, Tacoma TRD Pro is off-road, 
but compared to a regular RAV4, it's not gonna bottom out as much. You know, I think you'll do a little bit less cringing maybe when you're off-roading in the RAV4 TRD off-road, but I think for people who like to go camping, go down forest roads, uh, this is a pretty decent solution for that. So right away here, I've noticed that the traction control has uh, flashed a few times and I've noticed it retarding the throttle a little bit, which is odd. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into rock in dirt mode. See what that does. Yeah, so that allows it to get the revs up a little bit more. Yeah, I'm probably not supposed to be back here. I just drove over a scale that waved me. Yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to be back here. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, initial impressions, um, just a little bit softer off-road. The springs and the shocks are a little bit firmer. Uh, so I think this is a pretty good suspension setup. Um, I'd probably take it as a fair trade-off. I find this thing to be pretty comfortable on the highway too. Um, yeah, not bad. So by now the RAV4 is known uh, pretty widely to be one of the best vehicles on sale today. Uh, it's the best selling vehicle in the United States outside of the big three pickup trucks. So yeah, you know this thing is going to be good. Uh, I think what's interesting here is that this is a TRD off-road model. I really like the new RAV4. I recommend it to anybody. I really like the adventure trim. Uh, just, I think it looks cool, but the problem's always been with that, that it really doesn't offer any functional upgrades. I guess you could argue that it has more functional roof rails, but beyond that, it's all about appearances. And what bugged me about that car is that it came with 19 inch wheels. It's supposed to be the adventure model, but it comes with wheels and tires that will be frankly a liability once you get off road. They're just too big. They don't allow for enough tire sidewall. And the TRD off-road model here rectifies that by reducing the wheel size to 18 inches and slapping on a set of Falcon all-terrain tires and it comes with a slightly more robust uh, off-road ready suspension setup so I think that's pretty cool um, if you can have a vehicle that can confidently tackle a forest road on the way to a campsite while also returning 27 miles per gallon combined on the way to your campsite that's a pretty compelling offering I do a lot of camping and, and little light off-roading here and there and what you realize is you can build the most off-road capable vehicle but it's not gonna get good fuel economy and on your way to the campsite, you still spend most of your time on the highway, uh, like 99% of your time on the highway in most cases. So a vehicle that gets good fuel economy and offers good highway ride quality and is easy to drive over long distances, um, those should all be strong considerations in picking a vehicle uh, you know, for going camping and, or using for adventures and things. And on that note, I think that means the RAV4 TRD off-road is kind of the perfect combination of all that. It still gets good fuel economy, it's comfortable, loaded with active safety tech, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and it comes with the wheels and tires and suspension that make it a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more fun, uh, and a little bit lower risk to actually get down that forest road for your last couple miles of your trip on the way to your campsite. So I think with that, um, this is a pretty compelling vehicle. $43,000 might be a lot to some people. Um, does kind of seem like a lot for a compact SUV, but this thing offers pretty much all the features you could want in a modern vehicle. And for that, I think it's still a pretty decent value. Thank you for watching.